and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage NBA Hall of Famer, Mr. Bob Lanier. Thank you, Johnny. It is so glad to be here. I ran into a lot of dear friends that I haven't seen in many, many years, so I am really glad to be here tonight. Seeing all these students on stage as I was waiting to come on was very, very touching. 30 years ago when I was playing in the NBA, I helped spread the word about an organization that would become the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. I'm filled with pride to know that this organization is still here, empowering young people like this to be the best that they can be. Give them another big hand, please. So on behalf of our NBA family, I'm happy to be here tonight as we celebrate this momentous occasion. What you're about to see is a video highlighting some special moments from the last 30 years. And if what Johnny just said didn't inspire you to give, hopefully something in this video will. As you're watching, think about your dream and how hard you worked to get where you are today and who helped you along the way. Together, we can make a difference in the life of a young person. They wanted me to remind you to please respect all those who spent a lot of time and effort on this video and remain seated until it's over. There'll be ample time to network afterwards. And don't forget to share via social media using hashtag TMCFGala you may see your posts on a social wall that will be shown during dinner. Enjoy the video and the remainder of the program. God bless all of you. I have a million reasons why I started the fund, but I think most importantly, I thought about what Thurgood Marshall said many years ago. He said that sometimes history takes on its own life, that moves us in ways that uh, we could not imagine. The historical perspective of the fund is that uh, I was the brand manager on Miller Lite in 1986, so I wanted to create more relevance for African Americans with Miller Lite, and I, I thought what would be really effective is to focus on something that's important to African Americans, education. And so I created a scholarship program for Miller Lite, and I found out that there was uh, a woman by the name of Dr. Joyce Payne at the Office uh, for the Advancement of Public Black Colleges and also as a part of a national association of state universities and land-grant colleges. And she wanted to raise money to provide scholarships for students attending public HBCUs. And so we were thinking about what are the major components of such a program. So it was a great collaborative type of conversation and the key points had to do with clearly the scholarship itself the significance of the name. And so for you, Thurgood Marshall, and, and what that represents, that name of social justice, of excellence, of equality, of fighting to be the best. Uh, and because I thought it was really important to think about finding high achieving students, because people don't often talk about people who are working to be the best. So when I was serving as a lobbyist with the National Association of State Universities and Land Grant Colleges and, and heading that office, um, my secretary and I sort of, Mary, Mary Ann Thompson, we were sort of clandestine in developing the fund. So the adversity initially was how do I pull this off, because that was not my responsibility to create a fund. I was supposed to be out there doing federal and congressional relations on behalf of the historically black public colleges. But again, I saw that void and, uh, and, and seized that opportunity. And so that's how we got it started. One of the things we did was we thought we could help the fund by, by giving it publicity by donating $1,000 a game from the Miller Brewing Company. I thought it was really important to think about finding high achieving students because people don't often talk about people who are working to be the best, and particularly in, in uh, minority communities. And to say to those students, you are doing well, we want to support you, we want you to be better than you ever thought you could be. I accepted the position as first executive director of the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund, which was its name at the time, 
was because it provided an opportunity to continue my work with black higher education. Uh, prior to becoming to the organization, I had worked for 15 years with the United Negro College Fund, working with the historically black private colleges. And here was an opportunity to work with the public black colleges and universities. So it was really a phenomenal opportunity to also kind of begin to build an organization. So it's really the only organization of its kind that exists to support across its membership very uh, difficult institutions in difficult times because education is under assault, so to speak, because of the cutbacks in funding and the historically black colleges and universities are not at the top of the funding chain. And then, of course, there was Noel Hankin with Miller Brewing Company, which was a subsidiary of Philip Morris. And Noel was always seeking not only an expansion of resources, both financial as well as human resources, really was of great assistance in expanding our Board of Trustees, and it was in fact through Noel Hankin that we recruited Burgess Colbert, who was our first board chair. He was a senior VP with Miller Brewing Company. And from those humble beginnings, we were able to give the fund as much exposure as we possibly could. As a TMCF recipient, or even as someone who was finished with it, you don't really finish. It's something that stays with you. You want to continue on. You want to continue to um, participate as you can financially, as well as with your time and presence. As a student, you want to kind of understand the legacy and the heritage that you're living by accepting this funding or the scholarship. Um, it's important for you to always keep in mind what you represent and that you kind of have an obligation now to live up to your dream. TMCF has really made my life what it is today. Um, I came to the Leadership Institute as a, a young, bright college kid uh, with no plans after graduation, and the Leadership Institute gave me a plan. Um, it gave me an opportunity to work um, in corporate America, get my feet wet in corporate America, and teach me just general life skills that I use every day in my job. So I'm forever grateful for uh, what TMCF has done and the impact that they've had on my life. The Gallup organization, you know, one of, one of the contributions that we make through research and science to, to our country is about leadership. And so anything that has to do with leadership, we're, we're interested in. I, I got especially interested in uh, Thurgood Marshall College Fund because of uh, the processes that we go through with early identification of superstars. We have a big belief that early identification of people that God created just a little bit differently um, that if you spot them early and then put them in accelerated development, you can change the world. When you sort through our 300,000 kids, there are thousands of kids that can build departments, that can build companies, that can build organizations with infinite value. And when you get those moments of proof that it does work, it's very rewarding. Currently, like every organization, we're really focused on supporting students to ensure that they can get an education through scholarships but more importantly, looking to hire the next talent and the next generation to join our organization, and TMCF provides us that opportunity. When you see a student who has an opportunity that they may not have had otherwise, and the light bulb goes off, uh, we call them light bulb moments. When they actually go off, you're so happy to, to know that you put all the, the hard work and the long hours into making that experience happen. We ultimately believe that law schools don't make lawyers, medical schools don't make doctors. K through 12 programs do. And so anything that HBCUs can do to generate high quality, committed teachers in our K through 12 school system, in our classrooms, uh, makes us most proud. The moment for me that I, that I remember specifically is seeing our first class of TQRP students come through. These were folks who were gonna go into America's classroom and make a difference. They were gonna make Johnny believe that Johnny could be a giant. And to see us playing a role in identifying and developing those future teachers, those future leader makers, is actually one of the most, if not the most, important moment in, during my tenure. When I look at the quality of the program, teacher quality and retention program, I look at pieces beyond just 
becoming a better teacher. I learned how to be a professional. It was life-changing because just through that one week, I learned that possibilities are endless. You just have to put your mind to what you want to do. You have to buckle down, and regardless of what's going on around you, you have to make sure that you are well prepared to make the most impact in that classroom that you could possibly make because it's possible. A personal point of pride for me in the TMCF relationship is watching the organization attract funding. Over the years, I've seen grants and contributions, big checks that we hold up go from $100,000 to $200,000 to the $1 million that Wells Fargo provides on an annual basis or more. The one thing that motivates me every day is, is raising money. I realize that you can't have mission without money. And so every day trying to find a creative argument, a way to make donors realize that investing in HBCU students is a good investment, drives me. We are the high caliber talent that you're looking for. We are hard workers who, are, who have integrity and are willing to go the extra mile. And so when you support TMCF, they're finding those, those hardworking, integrity, high character individuals and in campus, and they're providing them to you as an intern and uh, as prospective employees. Our students, our partners, and our supporters would say one thing about TMCF. They'd say, this is where education pays off. They know that they're not just giving to a charity, they're investing in education. And people who invest want a positive return. And we're doing it every day with every dollar from every donor. The support to TMCF is very critical to the future of this country and this world because you are enabling uh, a great generation uh, that's coming up there. We are so excited to have not only students who go into the corporate world, but also expose them to other opportunities, uh, including starting their own business or having the mindset to go into a corporation or an industry and bring the entrepreneurial spirit and attitude. And so at OFC, we're looking at not only identifying top talent by GPA, but also who have an entrepreneurial mindset. As we build entrepreneurs every day, we work with corporations every day to help increase the opportunities for our students. Think about it. 30 years ago, a woman decided that we needed to do more and better for our publicly supported HBCUs. She made history then. Think about it now, 30 years later. We're still making history. Our students are going to be history makers. I've seen it become more than a scholarship fund to help students gain access to HBCUs. It's now a national advocate for HBCUs. It's a national advocate for higher education. It is a go-to resource for presidents of the colleges and universities across the HBCU landscape. And the programs that have been built are just bar none, world class. When I was elected to Congress in 2014, I set out to found the first ever bipartisan HBCU caucus. Since its inception, the caucus has grown to include more than 60 members from both sides of the aisle and in both the House and the Senate. Since our creation, we've been proud to partner with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund to raise awareness among my colleagues in Congress and to advocate for the resources that HBCUs need to not only survive, but thrive. These colleges and universities have a very important mission, but they can't do it on their own. They're a good Marshall College Fund, not only brings in their own resources, but bring in other people with their resources to help with this very important mission. So I'm very grateful to them for what they do, and I think this is something we all need to pitch in together to make sure we have success for the students and for all of us. Our ultimate mission is to protect our institutions, the historical, historically iconic institutions called HBCUs, but to ensure that the students who matriculate and ultimately graduate from those institutions have a high quality education. When you become a TMCF scholar, and some, you know that such a, a large and venerable organization believes in you and your success and your progress, then you begin to believe in yourself in new and exciting ways. So I know that the opportunities that I've had, including the opportunity to work in Hollywood, can be directly traced back to TMCF. TMCF is the best thing that happened to me professionally, you know, whether it be networks or jobs or opportunities or realizing my dreams, TMCF is definitely the stepping stone to where my life is today. And the different programs that I experienced as an undergrad have changed my life. And as a result, I've changed the lives of young people. And then one day they'll change the lives of future young people. And so I thank you from the bottom of my heart 
for all that you've done, for making me the professional that I am today. I think about where we started. We were very focused on scholarships and giving out scholarships and the evolution really changing to understand that we needed to work on leadership development. We needed to work on finding these wonderful young minds jobs. We needed to work on supporting the HBCUs themselves from teacher support and education and being part of the universities. So the evolution has been phenomenal, but at the end of the day, our passion for the students have always been at the core of what we're doing. You also have to have a really strong board, and that's where everybody around the table, nobody just sits there like they're important with a big butt in a seat saying, well, I'm from this important company, let me hear what's going on. We want you to go get a lot of money, we want you to be involved, we want you to be engaged, we want you to do a lot of work, or you have no value to this board. And we have that around the, around the, around the whole table. And I don't think there are many nonprofits in the world that have a CEO on a board like we do. I think being from an HBCU, I understand the uh, financial um, struggle that students can go through um, and the limited opportunities on HBCU campuses. And TMCF just makes a lot of those things that weren't possible for HBCU students before TMCF possible. When you watch the eyes of students who think that they could not have achieved a certain dream or that goal of graduating from a college and then you watch them cross that stage or get that first job, the excitement just give you goosebumps. I'm motivated by the fact that TMCF is a purveyor of creative solutions. We bring solutions to our community that are unlike other organizations that serve the HBCU community and I think that's an amazing differentiating thing about us. Uh, we're different, we're creative, and uh, we're here to help. I think that the work that we do here goes way beyond our building. Um, it touches a lot of the students and their families, um, and that moment right there can change someone's life for the better. Every day I am motivated to do the work of TMCF by the fact that I know that every day I'm helping to remove barriers to opportunity for students and for people in fragile communities who need access to education and access to opportunity. One of the things that I'm proudest of is that I participated in the formation of the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund since having had its name changed to the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. We don't sit still and we're always looking to uh, change the way things have been done. Our mantra is just because it's been done that way doesn't mean it has to be done that way going forward and that is the epitome of innovation uh, and so that's what I would say at Thurgood Marshall College Fund we thrive on. One word to describe TMCF would be inspiring. Life-changing. Amazing. Opportunity. Happy 30th anniversary, Thurgood Marshall College Fund. I wish you many more years of success. Happy 30th anniversary. What an impact you've had on my career and my life. Happy anniversary, Thurgood Marshall College Fund. You've been given a great gift, and uh, not everybody gets that gift. And I hope that you will understand the gift that you've been given and use that gift for yourself, but also for the people around you in your community, your state, and your nation. You know, I think back to when I turned 30 and how excited I was then. I had that same excitement for Thurgood Marshall College Fund because I live and breathe this organization. You know, I love TMCF. I love what I do. I love my job. I love my colleagues. And to be able to celebrate a milestone anniversary like that with so many people and things that you love, what more can you ask for? Happy 30th anniversary, TMCF. It has been an amazing journey, and I'm confident we will have many more years of success.